Hello, it is Cheap Nails. Happy News Day for Good Nail Art. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I remove the polish from my long nails. So let's get started. I am ready to take off this mani. So I'm going to grab my favorite nail polish remover, which is this wonderful blue nourishing nail polish remover. I really like this kind of nail polish remover because it is not harsh on your nails really at all and it's really nice. The next thing I'm going to use is these wonderful nail silkies. I got these off of eBay for a dollar fifty and you get like 10 of them so it's awesome. The next thing of course is a cotton ball. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the cotton ball in half because I'm not going to need a whole cotton ball. Now since I am not using this cotton ball for my shorter nails, I would just leave it like a ball like this. I'm going to go ahead and unravel it because I need a long cotton ball to get my long nail. This is an important step for me to make the cotton ball long enough because I have to make sure I cover my whole long nail and the underside of my long nail since I paint that too. Now I'm going to take some of that wonderful blue nourishing nail polish remover and put two drops on two drops, <laughs> two drops on the cotton ball and then I'm just going to lay my nail down making sure my nail bed is on the nail polish remover and then I'm just going to go ahead and fold the cotton ball over into my under side of my nail to get that nail polish too because sometimes it is hard to get the nail polish out from under your uh, nails because you know you always paint the underside you always paint the free edge and I always do that so I have to make sure I kind of wrap it like a burrito so there we go my nail is completely covered and the underside is completely covered too because sometimes that underside free edge polish is harder to get off than the polish on your nail bed and after I have put on all of my pink nail silkies, I really like these pink nail silkies because they're reusable. You can also use tin foil if you like doing that, but I really like using these pink nose nail silkies. And after I've waited 10 minutes, they're ready to come off. Now you can wait more time depending on how many layers of nail polish or top coat that you've done but I went ahead and checked it after 10 minutes you can just check in and see if the polish is kind of lifting if it is then it's ready to go and usually I start from the under side of my nail first and I go and give that a good rub and then I go ahead and give it a good rub straight down because sometimes if you're wearing darker polishes you don't want to stain the nail bar by like going back and forth so you just want to take it right down and there you go it is on the cotton ball now if there's a little like little polish left I usually fold the cotton ball over because I don't want to use the side that the polish is on and I go ahead and I rub that cleaner side of the cotton ball and get the rest of the nail polish remover because we don't want any of that hard pigment of that nail polish you don't want to put it back on your nail the stuff that's on the cotton ball because it could you know stain your nail so you got to be careful and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of you also can put your nail down and just rub it kind of not roughly don't be rough sometimes I've been rough on this and it was bad so don't be rough when you're rubbing your nail be very gentle and there we go my nail polish is completely removed I really like soaking off my nail polish because it does not really come off that easily because I make sure that I prep my nails and I put top coat and base coat on so my nail polish does not come off easy so I have to soak that off or I would just put be putting nail polish remover on a cotton ball and just rubbing forever so I just really like this method of just soaking them off and of course if I use that nail polish remover it's very nourishing but after I take off my nail polish remover I take some uh, extra version olive oil and I just go ahead and I rub that into my nail bed and into my cuticles and into my hands. They aren't very dry actually after I soak them for 10 minutes because that nail polish remover is just such a good nourishing nail polish remover so it doesn't really like leave my nail bed very dry at all. So I really enjoy using that nail polish remover. I definitely recommend that nail polish remover. I get it at Walmart for only $1 and I make sure I also get some olive oil on my underside of my nail because taking care of your underside of your nails is really important and there we go my nail polish is all removed I hope you guys got value out of this video and please give it a like if you liked it how do you remove your polish let me know down in the comment section down below hey remember that globe that I unboxed in my other video the one with all the polish in it but then I took the polish out and I didn't know what to put in the globe I found something to put in the globe a squirrel. His name is Steve and it's a happy little globe.